jioni ni mlima Kenya iko na mlima Kenya iko na bonde la ufa Kenya iko na coast na kadhalika You must be relevant anyway Order members the honorable Joseph Kiha Kihangara Lari MP Lari um, Lima. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I happen to come from the Murima that is being referred to. Uh, from the onset, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, let me say that uh, I'm a member of the Committee on Administration and Internal uh, Security, and I sat through uh, the approval hearing process, and uh, I stand to support the committee report and also urge my colleagues, members, to uh, approve the candidate, that is Mr. Kanja, for the position of the Inspector General. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, from the hearing, you realize that Mr. Kanja was employed in his early 20s in the police force, uh, and meaning that he has worked for over 30 years in the, in the police force. Uh, Mr. Kanja has risen through the ranks, starting from the position of, uh, of a constable, all the way to acting uh, Inspector General. And uh, Mr. Speaker, having Mr. Kaja appointed as an Inspector General uh, is a way that will boost the morale of the police officers. Reasons being that if he has risen through the ranks to become now the Inspector General of Police, uh, one of the problems we have in the police force is that there are people who are employed at, as constables and they in that position for forever, probably until they retire. Mr. Kanja will be the man now to bring the change that officers, as they serve, he is going to eliminate uh, discrimination. Because we are aware that uh, transfers and promotion of police officers has not been on merit in most cases. It has been on who knows who. And I think Mr. Kanja, has, having um, gone through the ranks, is somebody who is going to help us in this uh, particular matter by boosting the morale of the, of the police officers. Uh, Mr. Kanja, from the hearing, understands the challenges that are faced by uh, police officers. We have been talking about police for, uh, reforms, and these reforms on issues of corruption, on issues of the welfare of the police officers, all this has not been achieved. But Mr. Kanja is the right person to, uh, to, to do this because he understands for example, the deplorable conditions that police live in. He understands the issues that I've mentioned on promotion and transfers, and also the issue of corruption that um, is, is, is a big problem in this country. His one man during the hearing who told us that uh, if appointed as Inspector General, one of the things they are going to do, and especially in the traffic uh, department, is to ensure that uh, police officers have traffic, I mean, I mean have body cameras, so they can be able to be traced where they are, you can also be able to see the actions they're taking on the roads, and uh, this is one way of assuring Kenyans that with Mr. Kanja at the helm of the uh, police service, uh, we are going to see uh, uh, some uh, very tremendous uh, changes. Mr. Uh, Speaker, uh, Mr. Kanja also has worked in very many parts of this country, as members have mentioned. He has worked in areas where we had, had uh, issues of the cattle rustering, and that means he's one person also who will be able to organize a police force so that they can be able to tackle the issues on the ground and Kenyans are, 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 will be able to, uh, to live uh, in peace. So I believe Mr. Kanja is the most suitable person to hold this particular position. Uh,